Today I'm going to install the camshaft on my rebuild of my 71 Chevy K10 pickup truck engine, 350. And this is made by Engine Pro and it's a hydraulic flat tappet stage 3 camshaft. So this is supposed to give me good low end and pulling power with a fair idle and some low, good low to mid range torque. 2400 to 3200 RPM range gives strong pulling power in 1500 to 4000 range, which is what I want. I want it from basically just over an idle, which would be 1500 to 4000 maximum. Um, and it came with the uh, hydraulic flat tap at lifters. Uh, the advertised duration intake is 283 and exhaust is 286, duration at 50 thousandths of an inch. Uh, 209 on the intake and 216 on the exhaust. Valve lift intake is 435 and exhaust is 455. Lobe separation intake 107, exhaust 117. Supposed to be a good cam for 10 and a quarter to 1 compression and less. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a piece of threaded rod or a long bolt, something to give you leverage so when you're installing this camshaft and you get it three quarters of the way in, you're not fumbling it around and banging it into the bearings. You're being careful at what you're doing. Then I'm going again with my 20W50 oil, AMS oil, Z-Rod, which has the zinc in it. Lubricate your bearings up good and then you can start to slide it through the bearings being very gentle. Just kind of wiggle it around real lightly as you're going in. And after I get it into this second bearing, now I'm going to stop and oil the rest of my bearings before I slide it in the rest of the way. Now, for now, I'm just putting oil on these bearings. After I get to the point where I got the timing chain cover, timing gears, and oil pump on, then I will put this engine back in this upright position, and I will pour some oil down through all of this stuff and rotate it. And before I do any kind of startup, of course, I will pre-lube it by uh, going down through the distributor hole and uh, run the oil pump first. So now I'm ready to go in some a little further so I'll take it to the next bearing. Just feel around and you'll find it. Okay, moving on to the next one. Now we're going to the last one. Come on, baby, slide in there. There we go. I had to lift the back end up a little bit more. That's why you need this piece of threaded rod, which is a 5 16 18 thread or a long bolt, whichever works best to be able to have leverage so you can lift the back end of that cam up so that you can slide it into those bearings. Don't force it. Be very gentle. Just wiggle it around and it'll go. 
Now it's time for the installation of the timing gears and I'm going to install the existing one that I had on it. It only has about 5,000 miles or so on it and it is a Pete Jackson gear drive. It comes with the brass wear space that goes on the back side so you've got to make sure to uh, be gentle and make sure that that goes in to the correct spot. It also has the adjustable timing bushing in there. I'm putting on the straight one that's so it's, it's dead on to the original timing. You can use a, a timing indicator and verify where you're at with it and degree it with a degree wheel if you want to. Um, I'm not in any racing situation or anything, so I'm not too concerned about that. Pete Jackson and Summit, where I got them through, recommend about a 21 foot-pound torque on these 5 16 bolts that go in here. So we'll tighten them up first with a small 3 8 drive ratchet. And then after we put the gears in and get everything set so that the crankshaft is holding it, then we'll torque them to the designated uh, 21 foot-pounds, one at a time. And like I said, these have been used before, so it takes a little bit to get my wrench in there, my socket. Verify that the cam button bearing fits in there and it does not quite. So I will have to loosen this up a little. That's so that it, it keeps the cam from walking back and forth. It'll be against the cover. It's actually a small bearing that fits inside of there. There. Now it went. I'll re-snug those back up a little bit. Well, I guess I can't get in there with it that way. Let's uh, grab a grab myself a half inch box in, and we'll use the open end to snug these a little bit and then I can pull the bearing out once the retainer plate is held in position by the bolt I can pull the bearing out maybe And then now uh, the timing gears can go in. You have to orientate the timing mark on the crankshaft at 12 o'clock and the timing mark on the camshaft at 6 o'clock. And then you can install the gears. Just like that, there we are, everything is lined up in their correct position. Now then, I can torque my bolting. Being as though it's such a small amount, I'm going to go right directly to the 21 foot pounds and let's take it in increments
And there we are. We are at 21 foot pounds. And now we can bend these back over. You don't want to be pounding too much, just be gentle as you're doing this. You just want to make sure that the bolts don't come back loose again on their own. Flat our cam bearing back in there. And the next thing we're ready for is installing the timing chain cover.